Every part of a cheetah's body is built for speed. It has a flexible backbone and its claws act like cleats on running shoes. But the world's fastest land animal is quickly running out of time. There are less than 12,000 cheetahs worldwide. They get the blame when livestock dies and they're not even safe in nature reserves. The Cheat Conservation Fund are working with farmers in Namibia on an integrated wildlife and livestock management course. They show farmers how to take care of their livestock properly with things like disease control and how to build enclosures that are predator proof. So every animal today that we're that's facing, well every animal today is probably facing endangerment. And a lot of that has to do with loss of habitat and land fragmentation. And that's not just in Africa, I think that's something that we face around the world. Loss of prey is important, if you into that, because if there's no prey, then livestock becomes the prey of the cheetah. To help farmers protect their livestock, they are given a Kangal Shepherd dog to help keep their livestock alive. Another program that we've got in place is um, using this dogs that are born looking like this. They're a Kangal dog from Turkey. And we um, have developed a program now close to 15 years ago where we found this Turkish breed of dog um, is extremely successful in helping protect livestock. We breed the dogs at our center, we grow up with the goats, uh, we get large litters of puppies, and um, as they grow up with the goats, they become bonded to the flock. At eight weeks of age, we basically give them over to a farmer's herd where they grow up. And the dogs, as guardians, uh, protect their, the livestock. We work directly with the farmers. We find out what farmers are going to be suitable. We get them to see and learn about how the dogs need to be cared for and properly fed and guided through our training courses, and then we place them. Instead of going to school, these children need to take care of the goats. So the dogs don't just protect the livestock from leopards and cheetah, they also protect the children. So the way they actually work is they, they grow up in the flock and the dogs blend in very well. They look just about like what the goat or the sheep looks like, but they're large. And they will protect their flock by, they mark territory, they urinate around the area. As they hear something that is unusual, they're on their feet barking. And that bark basically says, I'm here and there's something going on with my flock. And if you want to get to my flock, you're going to have to get through me. So, can we integrate livestock and predators in the rest of the world? I believe that it's a matter of our own survival, mm -hmm. and the cheetah has shown me what has to be done, mm -hmm. and I believe that we need to get everyone around the world to realize that we mm -hmm. have to have these integrated health ecosystems, and having a top predator show us the way, the fastest yeah. land animal. We better get on that bandwagon really quick, because not only are we going to lose the cheetah, mm -hmm. but our very survival is uh, in the balance.